Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Hachi Johnson joining you on this Tuesday. Two rounds of storms today. Morning showers, locally heavy rain and windy storms and a round of severe weather tonight. Here's the very latest and what you need to know as you head out the door for work this morning. A Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Okay, two things. Scattered showers, rumbles of thunder drifting through the valley as we start our, our day. These will be pushing into parts of central Minnesota as well. They're going to be hit and miss. They may not show up exactly as you see them here, but basically we'll have some locally heavy rain passing through as we start our day. So have the windshield washer fluid topped off to get you going. These storms will be drifting down through the Brainerd Lakes area as we go through mid-morning, and then in the afternoon we'll get a break. And you see that? Uh, spotty showers showing up. I don't think all of that will be reaching the ground. Now, as we get into the heat of the day in the afternoon, and I mean heat down in the Southern Valley building, a stout round of storms will begin developing in the afternoon hours. All modes of severe weather will be possible as these begin their day and moving across the Red River Valley as we go between about 2 and 6 p.m. as they work their way through. After that, these will work their way off to the east, but it's not over yet because look at this scattered rounds and it really becomes a backward c-shape here this bowing line segment a very strong wind potential type of storm system set up on this particular model that will be heading mainly through portions of minnesota down in southwest north dakota storms rolling out of glendive montana will be pushing their way across the state line as we go to bed on our night tonight then as we go through the overnight hours these will blast their way right into the twin cities a perfect example of what could be a very long line of windy thunderstorms if it evolves in the way that this model suggests. Another Boeing line segment up north on the North Shore possible while we'll be all but done in the valley. Check this out though. Scattered showers and storms will be possible as we head into our Wednesday night across the North Dakota, South Dakota border. So that's a look at that. Now let's take a look at what we can anticipate for your forecast as you start your day. Heading out the door, it does look like we'll have temperatures that'll be close to 70 degrees cooler out to the west. Morning showers and thunderstorms right here in the valley. As we go through mid-morning, we get a break, but in the afternoon, storms redevelop right here in the central and eastern part of North Dakota and rip their way east as we go through the nighttime hours and gusty wind will be a primary threat as we go through. I'll highlight some of those risks here momentarily, but here's a look at that seven-day planner. A hot one out there today. We'll kiss 90 degrees today, cooling off for your whole day on Wednesday, and then we're climbing that thermal ladder right back up into the upper 80s and low 90s as we head through your weekend. The next best chance at some more widespread thunder shower activity appears to be Sunday into Monday as we see a transition from well into the 90s back into the 80s. Now let's take a look at some of the uh, risks for severe weather as we work our way through. Now this is from the Storm Prediction Center and this will likely change as we go through but keep in mind all modes of severe weather will be possible as we take a look at what some of these uh, chances are here. You see here I think my map moved on us so let me move this back over my apologies. Uh, our heart core viewing area here, eastern North Dakota, northeast South Dakota, and most of central Minnesota and northern Minnesota in a slight risk. That's a level two out of five. All modes of severe weather will be possible as we do go through the event. And here is a look at where the risk for a tornado is going to be the greatest. Notice all areas in a 5% risk. Excuse me, that's a 2% risk. Doesn't seem awful high, but an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out as we go through. Wind, though, and hail will be a more significant threat, particularly the overnight wind as these storms make their way in and towards central Minnesota and the Twin Cities, where we could have some gusts heading through those areas that exceed 50, 60, or maybe 70 miles per hour for some. I'll keep you updated right here. You're watching Hotch's Weather. Thanks for checking me out on my Facebook page and hitting the follow button. You can do the same on my YouTube channel, Hutch's Weather, by hitting the subscribe button. Have a great day. I'll be here covering storms, and you can always get the latest on Hutch'sWeather.com.